What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. We have top four of the 2014 World Championship. And this time around, we have Nick versus Bert. Uh, Nick is something we have not seen yet, even when I was playing my six rounds. And we have seen... Uh, don't leave me a secret. I'll tell what it is. Uh, we'll find out what it is. And it's for his Genocide. Uh, so this is a fantastic matchup. If you're a Nick, you're like, okay... This is like a cakewalk. I have Fred at win. When I have grass energy attached to my Pokemon, they can't be affected by special conditions. And that is like golden, right? Um, this was the deck, like, you know, everybody was like thinking of playing, right? It got first place at Worlds first and second and like third. Uh, <clears throat> only played basic orange, didn't have a chance. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I mean, this is going to be a pretty bad matchup for Burt, right? Their deck and cover doesn't work. Um, Nick has Genesect GX as well, which is, like, fantastic. The only thing that's going for, um, for Bert is that he does have the Trevenants, right? Um, being able to item lock and everything like that is going to be fantastic, but to what extent, right? So we see an Ulch Ball for Nick. Looks like we might see a Genesect come down, uh, discarding the Mr. Mime and the Shea Bay. Uh, let's see what we find here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do we go just straight? No, I think we just... I, I'd rather go just go Genesex here, right? The the red signal, bring up bench Pokemon to the active. When you catch a Plasma Energy, seems really good. I think what you do is you Ultra Ball for Genesect. You don't put it down. First of all, let's give props to Nick. I don't know what he's using to record, but his video is, like, fantastic. I don't know if it shows well on here, but on my screen, whoa, it is, like, so high definition. I want to know how he did his games like this because this looks beautiful. He recorded in so like his the it was so much gigs to up like to download, but um, it's beautiful. He recorded in some high quality stuff, and it makes me appreciate that for sure. Uh, so we'll see the Genesect GX EX come down. I mean, I think you're fine putting down the Genesect DX either way, right? You put it down, you Juniper. We see an N actually. Okay, going to negate one of Bert's draws for sure. We see a Coalish Machine. Do you hold the Coalish Machine? I think you're fine holding the Coalish Machine. I think you just pass here, right? Oh, we might see a Coalish Machine. Oh, yeah, there's a Coalish Machine, all right? Uh, so those positive energies are really good. That red signal is a fantastic attack. Uh, making it where you bring a bench Pokemon with the bench, or you bring a Pokemon with the bench to the active is like stupid strong, right? Funnel and Bert's turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, we see a low ball. Going to find himself probably, man, I don't even know. Shelmet. Another Phantom. Uh, yeah, another fan will be fine because, like, Nick is taking a knockout, like, 100%, right? 50 plus, uh, muscle band is 670, so you're, like, you're taking a knockout. Marsharna, Muda comes down, Muda doesn't work. Long distance hypnosis has no effect at all. There's a computer search, discarding an N, something else. This might find a beach. Um, so we go to the beach, let's get away. They say what they want to say. So... We'll see, though. Um, it discarded the end, so maybe he has another supporter card in the end. <sighs> There's a lot of things Burst can do here. And we can't see his hand, so I have no idea. But Nick's hand is always pretty easy to kind of spot, right? There's a Shelmet. Skyla. Skyla for the beach. So it looks like he comped for the Shelmet. We ski Skyla for the beach. World's 2011 beach. There we go. And we see a beach for seven, six. Sorry. So we see a uh, Toll Scrapper. That's another card you want to see. We could see Sky or Bridge into N. That seems like a fine play. Right? Bump the beach. Everybody has one less retreat cost. And or each base Pokemon Pokemon have one less retreat. They were seeing N. And he finds a grass energy. Well, I was a little nervous there. He almost didn't find it. Uh, that's one of the downsides of, like, playing a Coalish Machine is he could have whiffed, like, a Coalish Energy. But he got it. And we'll see an Emerald Slash. Do it 50 plus Muscle Band is 70. And then find two Grass Energy from your deck and attach them to one of your bench Pokemon. I think you do Ultra Ball here. You Ultra Ball the Skyla and the Shadow Triad uh, to get another Genesect out just to thin the deck down. I don't think, I don't think that's a good I, that's a good play. I think it's fine. You could get a second Verizian just in case he somehow, like, hypothetically knocks out one of them. That could be a thing, too, but I wouldn't be too concerned about that. And we're going to see a Verdant, Amor Slash, a Verdant Slash. Yes, we'll attach two Grass Energies. 
eh, put them, oh, one of the Jada Sacks. Now we can Mega Low Cannon, do 120 to one of the bench, and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to see Nick. He's going to be pretty much set up for this turn, for this game, right? Bird is definitely in a bad situation. I don't see how, like, Bird can deck cover for 50. That's it. Muscle Band, 70. If he puts down the Dust Goal and Nick somehow finds, you know, Plasma Energy, he can bring the Dust Goal, take a knock on it. So, like, everything is going against Burt right now. Um, this is one of the bad things when you're playing against this Trevgore deck. If you just hit a, a Verizian Genocide in this format, you just, you just, like, pretty much just lose here, right? So, we see a Juniper, we see the DC. Like, Burt's got everything. If this was another deck, he's looking phenomenal. Does he have a Trevenant? That's the only thing. He needs to find a Trevenant. It could at least survive a turn. There we go. Because it only does 100. Um, so. What Nick could do is Emerald Slash into the Trevenant and then go about it that way. Um, that's another fine thing to do. Oh, showing off the 3N. 3N have been dumped. That is true, Nick. That is very, very true. Alright. So, we'll see what happens. We see that can cover for 50. Uh, no poison, no paralyzation. Go to center the Trevenants, and uh, we'll probably see a grass attached to the Genesect. And just a Juniper? I imagine so. Do you put down the Vrizian? I don't know. Yeah, okay, Vrizian comes down. Sure, why not? Like I said, the Vrizian coming down is good. It's like safe saying, hey, if you like somehow, you know, discard, knock out one of my Vrizians, I have a backup one. So, I think that's fine. And we'll see another Amber Slash here. For 70. Yeah, I think that's a fine play. Yeah, we'll get two more Grass Energies. And this is perfect. That's all the Grass Energies you need. Because you need one more left for the other Verizian. And then now you have two Genesects and you're good to go. Only one Plasma Energy, which is like kind of concerning. But I think Nick will be fine here. I think it's a very straightforward game. I don't see how Nick loses this. It looks like a pretty good spot for for Nick, right? If you're Burt, you're... Uh, man, you got a long way to climb, for sure. Must, uh, float Snow. He's got, like, everything, though. He is doing... Okay, there's his fourth and final N. That's the big thing here. And that's the last N for uh, Burt. So, we'll see. Five. The last Grass Energy is very crucial, um, because now, you know, he can't lock up Resin up in the active spot, either. Um, we see a, a Silver come down. Do you see another Phantom come online? If not, uh, there'd be no more idle locking either. So. And if <coughs> if Nick somehow draws that one plasma energy, he can bring up that Mew and take two price cards if uh, if Bert does not find a DC for that Mew. So. We shall see. Alright, just pass on to Nick's turn. Alright, see so if an option here. You neither. Yeah, I think you just grass of Rizian and just. Retreat. Oh, he's got Ammo Slash. I think I'd rather retreat into Genesect and start putting the 20 damage like Marshana. There's another Grass Energy coming out. Okay. <laughs> and you can slowly like start like racket damage up with that Marshana or that Muna. And then like eventually just knock it out, right? So there's a Megaphone. Get rid of the Muscle Man off the active. Okay. We we'll see a level wall. Let's see what this finds. Bert. Like at this point, do you like. Uh, do you even go after Duskull? Like, okay, there's a Phantom. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, that's a good card. You gotta get the auto-lock auto lock back up. And there's the Shelmet. Juniper. Remember, there's no more ends for Burt. They're all gone. Uh, discarding double Trevenant. Woo! That's three Trevs gone. That's three Trevs. But Sacred Ash is still in the deck. There's Town Map. Musharna with the full Warn. Okay. See, uh, Nick taking a little read at it. See what it does. See, put one in the hand. Okay. Let's see. So not the two detrimental prize. Like two love balls is pretty big deal. We know Burt probably plays multiple dust goal. I don't think he plays like a one 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 line. That'd be pretty in insane to see, right? I don't think we see a one 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 at all. Um they're pretty crazy, like I said. But I mean right now it it is um it's next game to lose at this point, man. He's just gonna treat and start just like Doing that Megalo Cannon, putting the damage on the field, right? Uh, wow, he can, like, take abuse of this, like, Muscle Band and Potion and stuff like that. If he wants to, right? So, let's hit the Genesect. 
Let's see a potion. Do we see Juniper like trying to find a uh, trying to find uh, the core synergy or the plasma energy? Looks like no. All right. And where the I think you put the twenty on Marshana. Maybe the okay. Go see the Mew. I guess just in case you could have another megaphone. We got out of three. I mean, either way, it's it's not looking good for for Bert, right? We see the plasma energy, and there's no more in from Bert, so we know that that plasma is safe. Plasma can bring up that Mew, take a knockout for sure, putting uh, Nick down to one, and then at that point we just mega cannon for knockout, right? <clears throat> Even if uh, what Nick can do, he can like. Attach a plasma energy to the active, bring up the bench Mew, retreat, take a knockout with the fresh one, and uh, just in case something weird happens. So, we shall see what Bird has here. Bird is still trying to put up a fight. It is just not looking too hot for him right now. Um, let's see here. I mean, plasma brings up the Mew, take a knockout, go down to two. Oh, no DC to the Mew, so it looks like there will not be none of that stuff happening. Um, which you'll see doesn't cover 50 again. And I guess you hold the plasma energy so you can knock out Dusk if need be. I think that's a fine play, right? Yeah, I think that's okay if you just hold the plasma energy. Um, the Muscle Man gets the knockout on the Trevenant for sure, like automatically, so that's a cool thing. Floats on the Mew. Course for okay, he's already played Skyla. He's Skyla for the course, so he can course next turn. Duh, Josh. Deck and cover for 50. Mew goes back to the deck. And we'll see Shelma coming up. Alright, on to Nick's turn. Uh, I think at this point you just Megalo Cannon and you just go Megalo Cannon, Megalo Cannon, Megalo Cannon, and you win the game. I, I don't think there's anything else you really need to do at this point if you're Nick. Uh, maybe retreat. That's pretty much it. We see him put 20 on the uh, the Phantom. This is just in case he does play a Megaphone. He can one-shot on Nick's turn. Pretty simple. So Nick still does play Lysander, which is not a bad thing at all. That's a good thing, actually. Because, like, early aggression, um, Emerald Slash. And there we see that in the Megaphone, which is good. They put the 20 on the Phantom, which means he can now knock it out next turn. And even then, if he didn't have that, he has Lysander in the following turn. So he can, like, Megalocannon, Lysander, Megalocannon for game. So... There, and like I said, the thing to note is Bird is out of ends, so there's no more ends coming from Bert. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Lysander. The Lysander is useless at this point, um, for sure. Then we see the Mew X come down. Okay. We're going to see the Mew into a course. And there's Mew. And we see a course for seven. Okay. There's four on Bert, three on Nick. So, we see seven new cards coming out. We see a four Warren. He is digging for the DCE. If he doesn't find a DCE, it is not game just yet because he can't one shot that Mew unless he can like Plasma Energy G Booster. Ooh, that'd be busted. I would not be sad if we see that. I'd be actually be really happy. Yeah, I hope he goes for this play. I hope he goes for the the Plasma Energy on Mew G Booster play <clears throat> just so we can see G Booster in action. So doesn't cover fifty. Okay. Please, please go for the G Booster play. Come on, Nick. Go. Oh, he's gonna actually just send it up to the active. Bro, just dig for the G booster. Man, please dig for the G booster. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Say no. Dang it. <laughs> All right, then, then Juniper. Dang it. <laughs> he went with the like the more conservative play, I guess. Uh, I mean, you could have Skyrune, um, retreat. There's Skyla for next turn. Okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. I want to see a G Booster play. But uh, there's no way that Mew was attacking next turn just because uh, Nick took out um, uh, took out everything. So. Pokeburst trying to send you an invitation. That's why I can't. Okay. Zork Snorlax, what is that? Okay. On again, number two, once again, it looks pretty bad uh, for Bert. That's all I got to say. It looks pretty bad. I don't know how Bert can do this, but we'll find out. Maybe Burke can win. They go to game two somehow. Um, of course, no, he doesn't want to go first. Burt wants to go first. But Nick starts the Ivrisian in a grass energy. And, I mean, at that point, like, what do you do if you're a Selgor? Like, right, you're like, oh, dang it, he found a Ivrisian with a grass energy. Which, I mean, the odds of not hitting that turn one is, like, pretty unlikely. But, you know, it can happen. 
So they see a Shelmet. <laughs> Bert, start with Shelmet. Pass, of course. Then we see another pass. And then on to Bert's turn. All right, so Nick is looking good because he gets Skylar for Ultra Ball. Get the stuff out. And then next turn you attach the Plasma and you go Emerald Slash. And you just shake your opponent's hand. And you go, okay, thanks. Thanks, Trev Gore. My name is Verzi and Genesect. My name is Verdant Win. We have no special conditions attached to us. And uh, we win. <laughs> like I don't know how else to put it, right? It just it just seems so bad. But let's let's see if Bert can do it. We've seen Bert dominate um you know two games this this like whole uh, tournament. We see him beat me. Beat Mia, he's done fantastic. So maybe he can find a way around this. Long does hypnosis, does the patels, his own shell goes night night. Okay. And uh, we see a pass on to Nick's turn. Okay. So Nick is oh my goodness. Draws a Genesect, forget Skyla. <laughs> Grass is active. Do you Skyla for a letter? I think that's what I'm doing. If I'm Nick, I'm Skyline for a letter, right? Yeah, I think you go letter. Okay, maybe not. I think you go Skyla for letter. Is the boosty boost in there? That's my other question. Is the booster the booster in the deck? Two Shadow Triads are in there, three Scarlet, G Boost is in there, and Muscle Band. Hmm. Do you go Muscle Band attach? And that way you can next turn knock out a Trev. Uh, well, that doesn't really matter. I think you go. I think you go a letter. Let me see the band actually, okay. Interesting. Okay. We're going to ban the active, and we're going to pass. Uh, next time we can see a plasma energy attachment, which I that's why I'd rather got the letter. Um, but I guess you do like solidify a knockout on this shelmet next turn if it doesn't move. So I guess either one's fine. Plasma to Skyrun to Juniper. Cause usually turn one, turn two of <coughs> Trevgore, they're beaching. They're not really deck and covering. So we see a megaphone immediately come down from Bert. Get rid of the Muscle Man. We see an Ultra Ball. Discarding Duskull and Lysander. For an Acelgore. Okay. We see the Trev coming up. We see a Acelgore come down. And Long Distance is the Tails. I like that. I like that Burt still went for that. Even though he has Evolution in the hand. And uh, Verizon can't be affected by it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, Juniper getting seven of cards. There we see another as sub come down. See a Mew? Do we see a DC? Like Bert is drawing like fire right now. Yeah, there's a DC. So I mean like if this is a regular game, Bert is like going places. He is like like, whoa, calm down there, Bert. Like, what are you doing, bud? But since you're VG, you're like, okay, that tickled. <laughs> no paralyzation. So that's the thing here, right? All right, so see Plasma into Skyro into Juniper, I imagine. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Skyro into Juniper, like I said. Uh, yeah, you're trying to find another Genesect here. There's a Gaboosty. Uh, so see Emerald Slash for 50. Okay. So he's not going to be able to two-shot this Trevenant with his... Um, Frizzing, which is what you want to try to do since it got uh, tool scrapper off or megaphone off. I like that this format there's two forms of tool remover. We don't really have that a lot. Uh, in expanded, I think we have like a hundred of them, but in standard, we only have one right now. So, anyways, we're gonna see probably just retreat into Frizzian or Genesect, see a mega low cannon, and like we'll find out, right? <laughs> Uh, can comp discard the float and low ball. Those are two. One of those is a really, really good card. The other one's like kind of like meh. So there's the beach. Jupiter. Okay. Discarding the hand draw seven. And let's see what else Bert has here. Does he find something else or not? That is the million dollar question. There's a level ball. Okay. See if the love ball gets him. Love ball into Duskull. Shelmet. There's a Shelmet. Okay. Now, is he going to retreat to Shelmet? 
Uh, Eva Soda into Marsharna. Because you can't do the shelma because you just put it down, if you're wondering. So we see the Marsharna. We see a 4 1 here. Um, he needs to find another Phantom. That's for sure. Yeah. That would be the best card to find is a Phantom. There's a Love Ball. Do we see a Phantom here? Yeah, there's another Phantom coming out. Okay. You gotta keep the item locking up. For sure. There's a Phantom. And just a Beach. Now, if you're Nick, I think you're just like aggressive. And you just retreat and take a knockout. Put the 20 on the Phantom. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what you do here. You make a low cannon, 120 to Phantom. You set that the Phantom up for knockout for next turn. And then now it's not looking good for Burt, right? I mean, it hasn't looked good for, at all for Burt ever. Like, at all this game. Don't get it twisted. Uh, <laughs> so, so we'll come up. Um, okay. And there is a so we'll come down. I think if you're uh, Nick as well, you don't. You don't use a plasma energy unless you're knocking out a Duskull. So there's a muscle band. DCE. N. K. Well, Nick Ham was, like, very lackluster either way, so that's fine. Okay. There's a Plasma to Shadow Tried. Um, one thing that Nick could have done is not have put down the, the Sky Arrow first, and he could have traded to discard the Shadow, the, the uh, Plasma Energy, so he can use Shadow Tried, because Shadow Tried lets you get back a Plasma card. And that would have got back his, his um, Plasma Energy for another Gusting effect, right? So... Once again, I don't think... I mean, one thing um, Nick could do this turn is he could... Hmm. He can Plasma Energy, bring up... Uh, nope, it's going to say Okay, that's fine. <laughs> either way, it's fine. It's fine either way. Like It looks so good for Nick. It's not even funny. Uh, it goes out of four. There's no item lock in next turn. He can Ultra Ball, get out a Genesect, Grass Energy, Energy Switch... And then um, have like a basically another attacker ready to go at this point. Yeah, I think that's fine. So DC the active. We can see a deck cover once to knock to knock, to knock out. The thing for Bird, if he can get double dust call out this turn, uh, it's still like pretty bad. <laughs> There's a Mew coming down. Okay. So Mew in. Bird is trying his best. He is he's throwing these ends out there over and over again. So let's see what that does. So see potion and a plasma energy. Interesting. Town map, see the price cards. <coughs> okay. Two phantoms. So, so a phantom's not coming to lion unless Bert plays Sacred Ash. So dig and cover. For, okay, so if he potions here, it buys the genus like two turns of attacking. Which is good. So potion might is definitely gonna save him. So bridge. You bridge and potion. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see, he's debating so grass. I don't know if you attach a grass. I think you potion and letter to thin the deck down. And then you plasma to bring up somebody. That's what I would do personally. Because you don't want to swing into the Mew because if you swing into the Mew, it deck and covers and the damage goes away. So I think I'm fine with going Potion, Plasma, bring up one of the Asselgors, put 20 on the Marsharna. So, yeah, Plasma, bring up the Asselgor. And then you do the 120. Yeah. And like I said, I think, okay, you can put the 20 on the Mew. Mm, I think I'd rather go on the Varsharna instead. Um, but there's a Muscle Band either way, so that's fine. Mew comes up. <laughs> so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, I mean, um, the Genesis that could get knocked out, right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Actually, no, can't. The max can do is 70. After, I was doing poison damage. So, if poison could hit, then it would do 80, which is like the perfect numbers. Ultra Ball just kind of float and Trevenant. There's another Mew. 
Oh, double Mew. Bird plays two Mews? He's, like, trying to protect his Mews by just taking cover, like, over and over and over again. Uh, but what Bird doesn't know is that... Oh, there's an in. All right, so let's see here. Now, Nick hasn't played a bunch of, like, you know, trainer cards and stuff. There's a Skyla. Skyla will get him the boss of to take a knockout on the Mew. Um, the problem is, what does Nick have after this, right? He can knock out... He can knock out the Mew, go down to one. We see... Okay, so there's four ends. Thanks for pointing that out, Nick. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, so you Skyla from Muscle Band... Take a knockout, go down to one, and then it's one to six at that point. <laughs> like, I don't know. <sighs> so, Sacred Ash, okay. A lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. We're definitely going to see a deck coverage of Mew. Forewarn, okay. All right. So see a deck and cover. We see Mew coming up. All right, so Nick. Oh, this is a G-Booster. Don't tip me with a G-Booster. Okay, so if you G-Booster... Okay, hold on. So I, I really do actually like the idea of G-Booster because you can G-Booster to Skyla. Right, so you can use their Skyla to find a supporter card and then you can G-Booster to get a knockout. That's... Ooh, you could... A potion doesn't save you, I don't think. Actually, it will. No, no, it's a hundred. So you find the muscle band. I think you go. Oh, he's gonna go for muscle band here. Man, I really want to see him grab a juniper for next turn. <laughs> That's what I would like to see. Um, but we're gonna see that this instead. Mm. See. G booster the the Verizian, but we know he doesn't have any ends left. Huh. All right, goes down to one. There's the energy switch. There is a muscle band. Okay. All right. So Bert can hypothetically take a knockout this turn, right? But if you're Bert, who do you promote? That's the question. Muscle band the bench, megaphone, geared the G boosty and the muscle band. There's no more ends left for Burt. We see a, a floatstone. Colors for five. If Burt whiffs this DCE, that is GG. For Ward, let's see here. Does Burt find a DCE or not? How many is in the deck? A discard pile. There's none of the discard pile. What about the price cards? Nick, show me the price cards. I guess we're not going to see the price cards. I don't think there's any of the price cards. I don't remember like seeing anything detrimental to Bert. So Mew, DCE, all right. That's cool. All right, he's Bert slowing in his pieces together. He's going down to four. Like I said, I'd rather like Nick to be using Juniper this turn than to. No. Yeah, so you, if you're Bert, if you're in Bert, you get Lysander in, in DCE, right? I think it's the best two cards you can grab. And that's what I would think. Hmm. I don't know. He's taking a second on the second one for sure. So he kept the Lysander. I don't remember what other card there was. I didn't study his price cards too much. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he knows he has a DC for next turn. So promote the Verizian with nothing on it. Huh. Okay. So energy switch to there. We see muscle band. Do you see Skyla for a grass energy or do you go for hmm, Ultra Ball? So I think what he's going to do here is he's going to Ultra Ball the two for Genesect, right? Yeah, I think he's going to Ultra Ball the two for Genesect, and then he's going to Beach. 
Because we know that bird is out of ends again. So we see genocide coming down. We see the genocide into the beach. So we get the grass plus shadow triad, which is a very good combo. It's very, very good because the shadow triad allows you to get the plasma energy after we see a normal slash next turn. And after that, I don't see a way of birds getting rid of this hand. And so we see the game on board right now. We see the grass energy is active, Emerald Slash to the Genocide, Shadow Tried gets back the Plasma Energy, Plasma Energy brings up somebody like the Marshana for game. So we see the, t the game in two turns. Yeah. So. As long as enough grass energy is in Nick's deck. I don't know his count, I don't have his list, but that's what I'm thinking if I'm Nick, right? You put a grass energy active, Emerald Slash to the bench, Genocide, Next turn, you shadow try to find you the plasma energy, and you bring up Marshana to win the game. That is what I want to see. We'll see if it happens. There's a Shelmet coming down, okay? Let's see what else Bert has here. There's an Ultra Ball. Because even in the max that could be on Bert's field, after all this is done, on Nick's field, it's going to be 150, which doesn't give you enough damage to manipulate to knock out a Genesect. So that's the key here. So there's a Dusclops, okay. So it's actually gonna be a little bit closer than I thought it would. So it's a DCT active. We see deck and cover, bring up the Acelgor with the Muscle Band. Now, Nick could be like really aggressive here and like hope to hit double, oh goodness, the potion. Like the potion's even like better, right? Like healing that damage, that's dirty. Grass Energy active. I think you go ahead and just shadow try it, just showing you have the, the plasma energy. And we see the heartbreak emoji coming down. Yeah, even like rubbing his face even more, throwing that down. We see the Emerald Slash. Does he have two grass energies in the deck? And the answer is yes. So. Even with the potions, I don't think there was enough damage in the field to even do anything. So. Yeah. So, I don't know what Burke can do here because we're going to see a Shadow Child for Plasma Energy to bring up somebody to the game, right? We see the Dust Nor coming out. So, hmm. Dust Nor coming down. Dece the active. Duck and cover. The only person that's safe for a knockout is Dust Nor. Oh, but you can promote that either way. So. We're going to see a Grass Energy, and that is going to be top four. Unfortunately, not that exciting, but we do see power of Rizian Genesect. That's the big thing here. But, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We didn't even see Shadow out Try. No! All right. He could have Shadow Try for G-Booster. We didn't see G-Booster once. All righty. Have a great day. Hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow for the finals. All righty. Bye.